Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alina. I decided to do something different today. I'm going to show you what I have in my pantry. Back when I first went vegan nine years ago, I thought that I would have to overhaul my pantry entirely, that I would have to buy new things like all these sauces and condiments and grains. Yeah, of course there were, there were some ingredients that I've never cooked with before, but a lot of other ingredients have been a staple for my family before we went vegan. Over time I realized that one thing could actually work instead of two. Like for example, instead of having soy sauce and tamari, I can just use soy sauce. So in my pantry, as you will see, I have a lot of ingredients that happen to be accidentally vegan. So they don't say vegan on the package, but if you look at the ingredients, you'll see that they are quite legit. Now, here's the deal with my pantry. If you think that as soon as I open this door, you'll see everything perfectly organized, alphabetized, colorized, then you're gonna be disappointed. I live a regular life, you know, sometimes I don't really have any desire to spend a lot of time making sure that my pantry is, you know, spick and span. Another thing, if you expect that everything is going to be perfectly organic from Whole Foods, you know, top of the line type of brands and products, then my pantry will disappoint you as well. I believe that for my family, it's more important to eat a varied diet that's quite nutritious than to strive for some perfection that may be not doable at all. I shop at my regular grocery store that's not far from here. I don't go to anything super organic and special. This being said, let me open this bad boy and show you what I got in there. Wow. So, as you may see, there isn't a whole lot of room in here, so I may not like stock months and months worth of foods at the same time, but it works for our family. We do grocery shopping once a week usually, but whenever we need it, we can always go and get something at the store. I have everything organized according to categories. So like up here, you will see that I have breakfast cereals and my coffee, so that's breakfasty stuff. Then I have some bottles of various condiments and whatnot that otherwise don't really have a specific place to live. Asian barbecue sauce by Wicked Foods. Those guys who run it, Derek Sarno, is pretty amazing. You should find him on Instagram. Then I've got a sweet chili sauce. What else do I have here? Some breadcrumbs. These are the best breadcrumbs that I have found Italian style. Too many breadcrumbs, unfortunately, have cheese added to them, but these are just right. No cheese and perfectly flavored, just wonderful. What else do I have in there? I have some pasta sauce. This is the one that I prefer. This brand, Mazetta, either marinara or tomato basil. Those are delicious. Next up, I have this big ba basket where I store my flowers and sugars, except for these giant things of flour that won't fit in there. All-purpose flour and bread flour. I've been baking a lot of bread. I'll show you my uh, sourdough starter in the fridge later. So what do I have in here? Brown rice flour, coconut sugar. I just love, love this stuff. I have a recipe for strawberry rhubarb crisp that I will link up somewhere uh, like over here. Traditional brown sugar. Then we have some almond meal flour. This is the type that's white. And then there's also brown kind. I talk about these in my strawberry rhubarb crisp video. I have some plant-based taco crumbles. Then I got some old-fashioned oats, some granola. That's my daughter's favorite. It's got dried strawberries and chocolate chips. What not to love there? Some soy curls. These make a great alternative to chicken. If you've never tried them, I highly, highly recommend. They're not as processed as lots of other plant-based meats. They are basically just whole organic soybeans ground up and shaped into these little strips. I have a recipe here on my channel for soy curl tacos, which I will post it here. Check those out, those are super simple and they taste just like regular chicken tacos. Then we've got some applesauce. I like this brand, Simple Truth Organic. They're very reasonably priced. The quality is great, uh, obviously organic. They have a lot of explicitly vegan things. Next shelf, I've got my big basket of snacks. I don't have a lot right now, but we've got some crackers. These are all accidentally vegan, quote unquote. My family really likes these, and I do too, obviously, because I'm a part of my family. These are Bovita sandwiches. Most of them are accidentally vegan. These are like cookie sandwiches with chocolate filling. What's not to love? 
These are like dried breads that I bought at Ikea. If you are into harder, whole grain type of foods, then those are really good with a slice of follow your heart or chow cheese. I just went to Costco this morning and I got this giant bottle of avocado oil. I prefer to always have some on hand. Behind it over here is my pasta area. Got some pastas from Costco and some from a regular grocery store. And I got some Asian style like pad thai noodles and these sweet potato noodles. Oh, I forgot that I have these actually. I should make something with them. Yeah, and then there are some really broad noodles. And obviously this is silk chocolate soy milk. These are my daughter's treat for after I pick her up at her school, which I actually have to go do soon. So I hopefully I'm done making this video by then. All right, next up we have my shelf with these two baskets. This one is all grains, steel cut oats, barley, millet. If you've never tried it, it's phenomenal. I, I used to eat it as a child growing up in Russia. It looks a lot like quinoa. I think it's a little bit bigger and you can make sweet things with it or savory. Next up, I've got my cornmeal for polenta. When I make pizza, I put some of it on under the dough so it doesn't get stuck to the pizza peel. Quinoa and also some sushi rice. I will link up these uh, things in the description for this video. So over here, I got my tomatoes, coconut milk. Back there is my basket with beans and legumes. Red lentils that I add to a lot of my soups. These are cranberry beans. They're a lot like pinto beans, but I think they're a little bit more red colored, whereas pinto beans have more brown in them. Black eyed peas, of course, chickpeas. No vegan kitchen can survive without those, obviously. And I even have some black beans, which I forgot about. Okay, and over here is another basket just for my overnight oats. I just grabbed this whole basket out of here and it has everything except for oats. I grab oats from here and then this guy and take everything there. So we've got blackstrap molasses, chia seeds, some cacao nibs, dried cherries, regular cacao. And down here is my overflow, so to say. Big things that don't fit anywhere else. I got this big thing of raw sugar from Costco and I got some peeled tomatoes and crushed tomatoes. Those are great for so many things. And uh, here's immersion blender and my scale that I use when I make my sourdough bread. Okay, here the door. Over here I got my nuts. I got some plant-based tuna that I bought not long ago, but I haven't tried it yet. And then I got some beans. I usually don't keep a ton of beans because my pantry isn't huge, but I try to always have garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, some small white beans, either navy or cannellini, and uh, black beans. Then I got some red curry paste or curries and stuff. Over here I got my chocolatey things, chocolate chips. And I got these treats from Costco that I just got. We got some Amy's chili. Those are really good for when I don't have leftovers or anything like that. Next up, we have my dried fruit area, dried mangoes, raisins, prunes, apricots. Prunes and apricots, I have a video of where I make them covered in chocolate for these delicious treats. I'll link it up here in the top corner. Got some dried dates, lots of leftover hot sauce from Taco Bell, Korean mushroom shreds by Wicked Woods. Wicked Foods and this Good Catch Tuna. The founders of these two companies are brothers. They have really great Instagram channels. You should check them out. So guys, I started editing this video. I wanted to do both the pantry and the fridge parts, but the video just started getting way too long. So I decided to cut it in two. Today it was just the pantry. Next time I'll do the tour of my fridge. When I make that video, I'm gonna put it right over here. So please check it out. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.